So in case you hadn't heard, there's a football game on Sunday. It's a big one, very big. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, I lived in Tampa for six years. While I was there, they won the Super Bowl. I got sucked in. I knew some of the players because they would come on the TV station where I worked down there. I felt really ingrained in the Tampa Bay area and the Buccaneers. So, Buccaneers, Panthers, my two favorite teams. I know it stinks they're in the same division, but the Panthers are my number one. Buccaneers are just like right, right there, right? Like really close second. So now I'm pulling for the Bucs, they're in the Super Bowl. But, Tom Brady. He is the GOAT, all right? I'm not gonna, I can't take that. He's the greatest of all time. But for the rest of us that have been on the losing end of Brady's arm, I was not a Brady fan, right? Tired of losing to Tom Brady, he is that good. So now this weekend, he's leading my team. My team, Brady and the Bucket, what? It's like a rip in the space-time continuum. I, I was conflicted for a lot of the season, but of course, as they kept winning, then I start to get all excited about it, and now my Buccaneers are in the Super Bowl. Um, not that I remember this, but 2004, Patriots-Panthers in the Super Bowl 38, 41-yard kick by Vinatieri to win, no time on the clock, 32-29. to 29. I have a vague recollection of that. Hard to let that go, but it's Tampa Bay Buccaneers, my favorite team. I've got to come to grips with this, to terms with this. Brady? painful, but win that Super Bowl for my Bucks, please. I will be wearing this jersey. It's not number 12. Go Bucks.